Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are checking out the Carpyrite W903, which is a 9-inch external display that has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But what's even more interesting here is that it has a built-in dash cam, which is super interesting here because it is a two-in-one device. So I've been using this for over a month already, and here's what I have to say about it. All right, so this is how the W903 looks like when you first boot it up. It has a very simple and straightforward user interface that needs no learning curve at all. Now, you obviously get your wireless Apple CarPlay and your auto buttons here and some other wireless streaming apps. Now, you also get to select your audio output and we'll go through all these features bit by bit. Then on the left pane, you get to go to your home screen with the shortcut, adjust the screen brightness, adjust the speaker volume, and finally get into the dash cam just like this. Now, what's interesting here is that not only this dash cam supports a 4K resolution, but also you can rotate it just like this to treat it as a vlogging camera if you like so. Now, of course, on this screen, you might actually see it a, a little bit stretched and that's because this display is in a 21 by nine aspect ratio, if I'm not mistaken. So you're gonna see your video stretch on screen, but if you put this footage on the computer, you're gonna see a standard 3840 by 2160 resolution. Now, if you tap on the screen here, you get some simple control buttons here, such as like locking this video, for instance, capturing a photo if you, if you see an interesting card in front of you, or you can just go to uh, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay by just tapping that single button there, right? So let's just exit right now and let's go to some other features here. Now, of course, you, you get to have AirPlay Superlink. Now, these are kind of like mirroring features. AirPlay, which needs no introduction, is for iPhone. Superlink is kind of like an app-based kind of mirroring for some Android phones, just in case if you don't have Android Auto on your phone. And you even get like Wi-Fi video. This is actually a pretty interesting feature here. Now, I got to disconnect Android Auto for a bit to show you guys what it is. So this is what the Wi-Fi video feature is. It is essentially a remote control for the dash cam on the copyright W903. So from here, I can play or pause the recording. I can even capture a snapshot if I want to, even access the camera files through this dedicated app. It's all so convenient. So you don't necessarily need to take out the SD card to access the footage, but you can do it all through the app right here. In terms of audio output, you get four options. You can either output audio to the device's own speaker, which to be honest, I don't recommend that you do that unless you simply just want navigation sound or just answer phone calls on it because listening music on this thing is not great. Now you also get Bluetooth audio, which you need to connect your phone to your car's Bluetooth stereo. And of course you get the retro classic FM transmitter, just in case your car stereo doesn't have any Bluetooth connection. And you finally get the standard aux ports, which is the best way to enjoy high quality music and the aux port is located on the left side here. All right, now let's just go back to the home screen here and finally head on to the settings page. Now the settings page is also pretty straightforward. These are the general settings that you can do. Swipe to the left and you get to adjust your camera settings. Now these are the available resolutions that you can record through the dash cam. Now, of course, we should go for 4K because that's the best quality here. You can even choose the camera format, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure what this means. You even get to choose uh, the duration that you want per clip. Now, for me, I chose one minute and you have collision sensitivity. Now I have middle uh, collision sensitivity and I, I can tell that it actually works pretty good. It's not as sensitive as some other dash cams that I have tested. You even get to choose like microphone. Do you want to turn off or on? Uh, audio recording, rear mirror image, and reverse line calibration. This is just in case if you are using a reverse camera with the W903. And finally, on the system side, these are just some other settings that you can do on the copyright W903. Now, since I already have my Android phone connected, let's check out how Android Auto looks on screen. Now, as you can see, Android Auto looks really good on a white screen like this. I have Waze on my right side. As you can see, the swiping gestures, there's a little bit of lag, but it's pretty normal for most wireless Android Auto screens. And if I go back to the home screen, this is how it looks like. It looks really good on a white screen like this. So how about if I change it to a half screen mode? Let's check out, shall we? So let's head on over to the exit and we go over to settings here. It's gonna stop recording. Let's hold, head over to general, split screen mode. And 
let's head back to Android Auto. Okay, it's going to restart obviously, but you can already see that the camera screen is on the right pane here and it's going to take a while to connect back to Android Auto. All right, so this is how Android Auto looks like on split screen, but personally, I would rather have it take over the entire screen because having the camera on the right side here simply just feels good and it's not in a proper aspect ratio as you can see right here now of course you do get an assistive button here for you to do some other controls so if you tap on it you get to go to the home screen go to the full screen dash cam camera mode adjust the audio source and of course you can adjust the screen brightness through this assistive button as well now, Hapyar has provided two car mounts inside the box for you to mount the W903. Now, first of all, is this very standard window suction mount, so you can actually just mount it onto your windscreen and it works really great. And secondly, is this low level mount, which I think is pretty good for flat dashboards. Now, personally, in my car, I'm using the window suction mount and even without the base plate down below, it actually sticks to my dashboard really well. Now, of course, one of the things that you might be concerned if this will actually block your view, but personally, I have adjusted myself to get used to it because it definitely blocks my view a little but the reason why i'm using this window suction mount is because it really offers a better view of my car personally i'm driving a toyota prius if i use this really low base mount it will totally block my instrument cluster which is something that i don't want it to happen now of course using the standard window suction mount does block my instrument cluster a little bit but at least i still get to see the essential information that i want on my instrument cluster in terms of the dash cam image quality i have to say that it is not the best 4k dash cam that i have seen but considering this is a two-in-one device i have to say that the quality of the dash cam is pretty decent as you can see in good general daylight you can see car plates properly and the details are pretty fine as well colors don't look too bad except when it comes to nighttime when you are in like super dark roads you will not be able to see car plates properly not unless you come to a full stop now of course i do wish that there's some kind of electronic stabilization going on on the lens and all that because if you are riding on bumpy roads and all that the whole footage gets really shaky and you really can't see that properly even on screen all right so these are my thoughts on the copyright w903 it retails for 240 us dollars which you can purchase in the links down below so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe for more videos coming right up thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one